Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you? I hope that all of you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I'm fine too. Welcome you all to NIEVS Home School. This is Mahmud Rahman, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal English Version School. Today I'm going to take a Bangladesh and Global Studies class for the students of class 9. Dear students, this is your second class. And our today's topic is Unit uh, Chapter 1, Section Number 1.2. Okay, let's see the board. This is the class for the students of class 9, subject Bangladesh and Global Studies, topic chapter 1, section 1.2, lecture number 2. And from today, you will be given homework, HW. Teacher, this is Mahmud Rahman, my messenger ID, Mahmud Rahman Sohel. This is my mobile number, 01735 8522 85. Date, today's date. 31st January 2021 so dear student the uh, first chapter the political movement in East Pakistan and the rise of nationalism section number 1.2 the role of the political movement in developing the Bengali nationalism Bengali nationalism since the birth since the birth of uh, pa Pakistan the West Pakistan showed hatred and discrimination towards the people of East Pakistan. Though we are the 56% in number, we did not get our due rights in political affairs, in administrative affairs, everywhere we were deprived from our due rights. As a result, uh, a, a, a movement and uh, uh, mass hatred towards the West Pakistanis were visible. So, in th at that time there were uh, three streams of political parties that uh, contributed a lot in the movements. The three streams of political parties and leadership in that time were number one political parties loyal to Pakistan like Jamaat Islami. Nizam Islam and the Muslim League. Number two, political parties defended the interest of East Bengal, that means the present Bangladesh, the Awami League, the National Awami Party, NAP. And number three, the left political parties of socialist ideology. Now we will discuss on the formation of Awami Muslim League. <coughs> The East Pakistan Awami League was established on 23rd June 1949 in a conference at Rose Garden. And at the beginning of the time uh, when Awami Muslim League was established, Maulan Abdul Hamid Khan Vashani was the president and Shamsul Haq of Tangail was the secretary general of Awami League. And Bangamundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was the joint secretary when Aomi East Pakistan Aomi Muslim League was established. This party, National uh, East Pakistan Aomi Muslim League, draw, drew the attention of the common people. They were able to attract the mass people because they voiced in favor of the common people. They, are, they um, demanded to the government some common issues which the common people, which the mass people wanted, also wanted. So let's see what were the common issues, what were the uh, facts that uh, attracted the common people, mass people towards the uh, support of national, uh, East Pakistan. Aomi Muslim League. Provincial auto autonomy. At first, provincial autonomy, sovereignty of the people, recognition of Bangla as one of the state languages, nationalization of jute and tree, tea industries, abolition of feudal system without giving any compensation, distribution of lands among the farmers, and cooperative farming. As a result, as the uh, East Pakistan Awami Muslim League demanded all these things uh, to the government which 
when in favor of the people but against the government they became enraged and bangabandhu sheik mujibur rahman faced this uh, rage and he became one of the victims sheik mujibur rahman became a victim of the rage and was arrested in 1949 and he remained in jail till 27 february 1952 in order to show its non communal politi- non communal political ideology east pakistan awami muslim league changed its name to uh, from east pakistan awami muslim league to east pakistan awami league in 1955 they uh, removed the word muslim from the name of their political party to show their non communal ideology now we will discuss on formation of jukto front jukto or united front and the election and the government to defeat in the election awami league decided to make a alliance with some uh, political parties and there were four political parts in the uh, united front the awami league the krishak swami party the nizam e islam and ganatantri dal and a revolution was seen in the uh, election of 1954 the result of the election shows that how much hatred the west pakistan is uh, gained or earned from the people of east pakistan because from 237 constituencies the jukto front got 223 seats and muslim league gathered only 9 seats the other parties uh, got the rest so jukto front or united front uh, uh, had given a manifesto some points some demands before the public the before the mass people before the election and uh, this is called uh, the famous 21 demands by the jukto front or united front let's see the demands by presented by the jukto front number 1 bangla will be one of the state languages of pakistan this is this was the point number 1 in their manifesto number 2 feudal system will be abolished without giving any compensation all brokery and certificate system will be null and void the phrase null and void means uh, dismissed or cancelled number 3 giving fair price the jute trade should be nationalized and the culprits involved in jute scam should rightly be punished number 4 cooperative agricultural system should be introduced and handicrafts and small cottage industries will be developed number 5 salt industries will be ex- expanded and the culprits involved in salt scam will be duly punished number 6 homeless workers of the factory and technical trades will be rehabilitated number 7 digging canals for irrigation and improvement of agriculture measures should be taken to initiate flood control system and to prevent famine number 8 east bengal will be properly industrialized and the rights of the laborers will be duly protected number 9 free and compulsory primary education will be imparted and a decent scale of salary and allowance for the teachers will be ensured number 10 through reforms of education system and introduction of bangla as the mediums of instruction number 11 university of dhaka and russia will be given full autonomy and all the black law will be repealed and higher education should be easily accessible number 12 expenditure in running the administration should be reduced and the discrimination between high and low wage staff will be minimized number 13 all kinds of corruptions will be wiped out point number 14 political detainees will be unconditionally released and freedom of speech of meeting and assembles and our praise will be ensured number 
judiciary will be separated from the administration. Number 16, Bardhavan House will be a hostel for the time being and later to be turned into a research center for Bangla language and literature. This Bardhavan House was the previous name of present Bangla Academy. Okay. Point number 17, a Shahid Minar will be erected in memorial of the language martyrs. Number 18, 21st February will be declared the martyr day and it will be a government holiday. Number 19, East Pakistan will have full autonomy as per the historic Lahore proposal. Number 20, free and fair election will be held regularly. And the last point, number 21, if the Jukto Front or United Front is defeated in three consecutive by-elections, the cabinet will resign. So these are the manifestos or points or demands by, given by the uh, Jukto Front before election. Dear students, you can see that clearly these all are the demands of the people of East Pakistan at that time. Uh, the Jukto Front became the spokesman of uh, the common people. And as a result, they uh, consequently uh, Jukto Front won the election by a huge uh, uh, support from the public. But the uh, central government did not tolerate it, they could not uh, accept it. As a result, this government lasted for only 56 days. The, uh, the then Governor General of uh, Pakistan, Ghulam Muhammad, on 13th May 1954, they uh, dismissed this Jukta Front government on, a, on an acquisition of a riot between the uh, levers of Adamji, Adamji Jute Mills. It was a very uh, silly accusation. Later on, it was proved that, that that riot was provoked by the government, the central government. So, and after that, Shere Banglaike Fazlullah Haq was, uh, uh, was placed under house arrest and Sheikh Mujib and another 3000 political, political leaders were arrested and given imprisonment. So, this is the uh, story, this is the uh, history of our um, the role of political movement and uh, developing Bengali nationalism section number 1.2 the formation mainly the formation of Aomi Muslim League uh, which is uh, now uh, widely known as Aomi League and the formation of Jukta Front and the 21 demands by the Jukta Front. So dear students I hope that you have understood very well today's topics. As your homework, you, uh, you will do only five MCQ, multi -choice, multiple choice questions. You will do at your HW copy, five multiple choice questions from this section and submit it on every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay, if you have another, any problem or inquiries, please contact with me in my phone number and uh, you can also contact me through my messenger ID. Uh, see you in the next class, attend the uh, online classes regularly and watch YouTube classes. Okay, thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.